What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated our girlfriend, Sabrina, for our 10th badge. Yeah, that quickly. And yeah, we made our glorious return back to Pokemon Heart Gold under, well, funny some circumstances, I guess. I don't know. Talk to this guy, he's gonna talk to you about the power plant up in, not Lavender Town, but... He's gonna be talking to you about the power plant and all that stuff. And look at that, Mental Herb. It's always nice to actually have. Anywho, guys. Yes. We are finally back in Pokemon Heart Gold. And to me, like to my surprise, I actually thought that I would never, ever, ever come back to Pokemon Heart Gold just because of the way. Uh, just because of the way things ended. And I kind of ended it on my own accord, which was that, you know, I kind of felt a little lazy to actually finish it up and all that stuff. I mean, I did record 20 episodes and 8 of them survived and all that stuff. So again, my bad guys, my bad. But, here we are, birthday week, uh, birthday weekend, and it is a marathon. So here we are in Celadon City. This place is, uh, I, this guy, this place right here has a lot to offer, mainly in Pokemon. Uh, this lady right here, let's see, I don't know if she gives us anything, I don't know. There's something that they, they, they were given upstairs, I guess. So we're going into the elevator, and uh, this will automatically go up to the second uh, the second floor. So I or yeah, the third and uh, the roof. So we're gonna be looking up at everything into this place right here. And yes, yes, like the title says, we are actually gonna be going into a Pokemon gym battle. And would you look at that? Lyra's right here, and she's like, "Oh, hi, Draven. Guess what?" And the sound of the designer, da 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 da. Well, it looks like we are in the, yeah, we are in, uh, what was it called, in in Game Freak, and I believe if you win all eight badges, you will you will be given something pretty cool right here. And, well, this is the planner. So, yeah, these guys are, like, <laughs> they're, they're, they're little um, miniature-sized versions of the Pokemon or the Pokemon creators and all that stuff. And I think you actually get some great stuff from winning uh, or from getting all the gym badges and all that stuff. That and completing the Pokédex. And, well, let's see, the sound designer, something cool if you collect all eight gym badges, which I guess would be the old uh, designs or the old sounds of uh, the original games from Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. I think that's what it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. It's been a while. Anywho, like I said, yes, I've uh, completed 20 episodes of this and only eight survived, mainly because, well, I didn't think I was going to play this game anymore. And there's a house right there. And who is this guy? Oh, yeah, high places. Yeah, something about smoke and all that stuff. And, and you know, having to look at this, this is like, wow. Pokemon Heart Gold was ahead of its time when, you know, it first started and all that stuff. So, yeah, enough uh, segueing on and all that stuff. But, yeah, I actually thought I wasn't going to play this game anymore. And, you know, birthday weekend required this. I actually found the old files onto a external hard drive right here. And like I said in the last episode, guys, it's... I'm still trying to find the rhythm of doing a postcom right here. Again, it's been a while since I've done postcom. And beyond episode 50 right here of Pokemon Heart Gold, you won't be seeing any more postcom because, well, you know, gaming computer actually works. And how am I going to get in there? Yeah, I don't know. All right, we're going to go on our bike right here. So, yes, uh, what else can I say? Oh, yeah, we have to go into the stairs right here. Wow, I completely forgot about that. Yeah. Go figure. We got stairs, and uh, if you guys remember, this is the place where in Leaf Green Fire Red you get the T, and in all Kanto versions you get yourself an Eevee, which is always which is pretty cool, I guess. I don't think you get a free Pokemon right here anymore, so let's go right ahead and take a look what we found, and uh, this is pretty cool. Is there a hidden item right here? There's nothing. I'm literally looking for some hidden items because who doesn't like free stuff, guys? And here we have this guy. Let me recount everything once upon a time. Oh, much fun that it was already dark. Oh, he's telling me about, uh, yeah, he's telling me about a scary story, which really is just uh, people going down the, the cycling road. You know, that really wasn't much of a scary story, but here it is. We get ourselves a spell tag, which boosts the stats of any kind of ghost type Pokemon right here. So that's always nice, I guess. That is very nice. Okay, so let's see anything else yes this episode we will be featuring another gym battle remember guys once you get into kanto in pokemon heart gold soul silver 
right away you will be actually battling some gym leaders. And I would like to say you like you would be battling. Let's see, one, two, one, two, three, like three trainers right off the bat. Three gym leaders, I should say, right off the bat before you go into the nitty gritty of the power plant and everything. Now here we are, Celadon City, home of the Pokemon department, and this right here. I'm actually gonna surf because maybe this guy can actually give me another item. And let's see. Grammar started to appear here frequently. Oh yeah, that is true. If you fish into this area, you will actually find Grammar ra rather than uh, you know the usual uh, usual water type Pokemon that you don't normally find. Let's see, where else am I going now? This place used to be home of the Rocket Corner, the Rocket Corner or something like that. And uh, yeah, home to any kind of uh, what was it called? Uh, Team Rocket, uh, no gooding, and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm actually going to uh, grab a Pokemon right here, Sir Razor, and put him onto my team because he does no cut. And well, I'm just looking and looking and looking. I'm definitely looking. And well, yeah, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna definitely get Sir Razor. And yeah, another thing too that really surprises me is that we got Ho-Oh right here. Um, like I said in the last episode, guys, I actually looked, uh, I actually had to rewatch some of the walkthrough episodes because, well, it's been a while since I've actually played it. And while I was recording this, this was in September, and as my memory is starting to jog, this was right around the time when I was having a bye week for football. So, yeah, that, there was a lot of time, and I remember not only just doing this, but I was actually doing Pokemon White 2, the the uh, post-con game and uh yeah we all know how that worked now okay so here we are in the celadon city gym and yes you're gonna definitely need a pokemon with cut to get through this whole area yeah it's a very flowery place make sure to have fire type pokemon flying type pokemon at this point you'll probably have an ice type pokemon too so just go ahead go ahead and just do that and uh for for those pesky oh yeah don't forget bug types too yeah yeah, bug types are, 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 are grass types of enemies. And for those occasional pesky poison type Pokemon, pesky Pokemon, po pe pesky poison type Pokemon, you can actually use a psychic type Pokemon in this situation. And, well, I have the best of both worlds Toxic Batman and Hercules ready to go, ready to destroy things. And here we go with an aerial ace. And, well, let's go with a fly right here. So I got bug type Pokemon and a flying type Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. And if you know the grass type Pokemon were to be pure grass, you can always use a poison type Pokemon. I mean that's a lot of weaknesses right there. And here comes a sludge bomb. Does not work. And so far we are in the clear. And here we go. Fly attack for the win. And victory bell. Come on, faint, 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 and it's fainted. Yes, it has fainted. I am happy. And, well, let's see. Talk to Batman is just like, you know, getting extra experience points just because of the experience share. And, well, Vileplume has been defeated. I am happy. Yes. And Zoe and, or Joe and Zoe, not the best tandem right there. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So, let us move on right here, guys. I think we have two more trainers to go to or something like that. And, yes, this, this puzzle is a little confusing, but... Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to uh, cruise by here really, really quickly. And, well, let's see. Here we have uh, somebody waiting for us. And, yeah, we're going to be battling. Anywho, let's see here. Is there anything else I need to talk to you guys about? Including uh, for this game as well. Not really. I mean, once we get to the whole life comp thing, it's going to be so much easier for us to, to actually play this game and complete it. Uh, the only thing is, guys, I, I do have to replay Pokemon Heart Gold uh, to the point where we end up on episode 50. Uh, we, if you guys remember, we we do have a new computer. Um, the old, the, the original computer that we had, Pokemon Heart Gold, uh, yeah, messed up. Went to, you know, it, it went, hey, bye bye, and. For me, for me, that kind of that's kind of messed up right there because it was like you know I was really trying my hardest uh, for this game, and even if I got a copy of that of that save file, 
it's going to be 20 episodes forward, which it, it, it kind of sucks, guys, because I don't remember where I don't remember where I landed on 20 episodes. So once we get to episode 50, yeah, we're going to be replaying that game. We're, 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 well, as you guys are watching this, I'm probably replaying the game. That way we can get to the, towards the very end. So there's going to be quite a few things. Uh, there's going to be quite a few things that I'm going to be doing off screen in order to get to episode 50 uh, as quickly as possible. That way we can actually put this into our like you know into the the rotation of uh, of walkers. I get it. There's quite a few walkers that we have out here, but I can manage it. Right now we are in the month of July. So that means that you know. We got a lot of time to actually record extra episodes and all that stuff. Um, what's another thing too? I don't even know. I just, I'm just talking out of my butt now. And look at this, an executor, a pure grass type, even though it's a second type of Pokemon too, right? Right? Yes. And poison, t poison Fang does work, and it, it has poison executor. But unfortunately, we get hypnosis. Holy bejeebus. Okay, so the hypnosis attack is uh, in full effect right here. Wish we kind of had the snore attack right here. So, yeah, we're going to just continue on. Again, I recorded most of these episodes back in September, so it's going to take a while for me to get a along with the what the, the whole premise of this episode is going to be. And, well, I'm not really stressing right now because, yes, Executor is poison, but we wake up and we take care of Executor just like that. And there we go. Okay. Alrighty. And that's more experience points. Tags of Batman. Look at that. Level 53. Of course, you really do have to power up your Pokemon towards the very end, guys. Because we all know what we have to do at the very end of this whole thing right here. Yeah. Quite a few legendaries and, uh, yeah, Red himself. Can't wait. Oh, man. I am excited. And I think that's another reason why I kind of put off this <laughs> this game a little while, because yeah, the after game stuff, guys, it's a lot. And I think in comparison to Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Heart Gold and Soul Silver has a lot of uh, content right here that you can actually find, like legendary Pokemon, uh, action re uh, replay code Pokemon that you kind of need to get in order to progress into certain legendary Pokemon, um, starter Pokemon and all that crud, and then what else? Yeah. And then just the usual gameplay, you know, going into uh, Mount, Mount Silver and taking on Red. And, uh, well, look at that. X Scissors ready to go, but here comes a Fly Attack. And that Fly Attack does its trick. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye, Parasite. Yeah, Parasite's not too happy right now. And, well, there we go. And here comes a Carnivine. Now, going into this version of the Kanto region, you're definitely going to be seeing a lot more Pokemon from different regions. I think we are in Generation 4 by this point. So, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be, a, that's gonna be quite fun. And, well, it talks to Batman Flies. Here comes an ingrained from a Carnivine. Don't know why you're doing that because you're about to get hit and you're gonna faint and I'm gonna laugh and you're gonna cry and I'm gonna laugh some more and, and there you go Carnivine has been defeated yeah buddy okay alrighty and well with that we've defeated Beauty Julia and now I think we got one more trainer to go to and that is uh, Erica herself and again, make sure to have a Pokemon with a uh, cut technique because you're going to need it for this portion right here if we can actually find it. Yeah, this portion and the middle portion down the middle right there. So here we go. Cut attack. There it is. And let's go right here into the cut attack. And there goes, there goes that. And we're going to be reaching Erica. So before we do anything, let's go right ahead and switch out some Pokemon right here. I think it's time for Cinder to get some love. It has been a while, Cinder. I haven't seen you since, like, I don't know, two years ago or something. Could you believe it, guys? We started this game up two years ago. Two years ago, June uh, June 10th, 
of 2020, and unfortunately, we haven't even completed this. This is, again, starting to remind me of my Pokemon Soul Silver and Platinum walkers when I was driving XC7-11. It took me four years to actually complete those things. Four years. Why four years, might you ask? Well, I was very distracted, guys, and I didn't really know how to run a channel correctly, but... Since uh, we got a nice amount of time and we know how to do this stuff, let's go right ahead and just destroy Jump Wolf right here with a flamethrower attack. And, well, our Pokemon are obsolete right here. Jump Wolf, it's a uh, Cotton Ball Pokemon. Fire is its enemy. Yeah, it's not gonna survive like that. So there we go. Jump Wolf has been defeated. And here we go with a uh, more experience points for all of our Pokemon right here. And here comes Tangela, so let's just continue on. Oh, yes. Tangela's not feeling so good right now because look at this. Flamethrower attack for the win. How about now? How about now? Look at that. And Tangela. Oh, yeah. Tangela's not feeling that right now. So I guess we're just going to keep Cinder the whole entire time right here because they're uh, well, Flamethrower against her, uh, her grass type Pokemon. Yeah, easy victories for us right here. So here is Victory Bell. So let's go once more with the Flamethrower attack. And well, look at that. Flamethrower. About to make this Pokemon faint real quickly. Look at that. Oh, yes. Victory Bell. Say goodbye. Okay. Alrighty. And little by little, we're getting to level 59. Here comes Blossom, a new Pokemon on her team. Oh, another new Pokemon right here. And she's going to be saying some kind of speech. Don't go easy on me. Give me everything you've got. Wasn't really going easy on you. I'm just like, you know, destroying you real quick right here. And, well, flamethrower attack for the win. And there goes Blossom. Wait, it survived? Oh, come on. So yes, it survived using a citrus bear right here. And here comes a sunny day. Big mistake because, well, that actually helps fire type Pokemon as well. So we're extra, we're actually supercharged right now. It's a little supercharged. And here comes a solar beam attack. If you think about it, guys, solar like if you use a sunny day and solar beam at the same time, it's a one-two punch. It's still a two-turn uh, two uh, move. But here comes uh, the flamethrower. And just like that, Blossom has been defeated. And, well, there goes uh, another Pokemon. And just like that, guys, we get to level 59. And we get ourselves our 11th badge right here against Erica. And, yeah, she underestimated me, especially Cinder right there. And, yeah, she concedes. So she's going to be giving us the rainbow badge. A nice collection. Look at that, guys. How long has it been since you've seen a badge like that? So here we get the TM-19, which is Giga Drain as well. A very, very good uh, grass-type move for the time. And, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, she's talking to me about losing leaves and all that stuff. So there it is, guys. Another badge for the collection. And, uh, well, I believe we're going to be going into the next episode where I think yeah the next episode i did warn you guys about uh one of the episodes that i had saved here that there was a corrupt uh, portion of this so it might get cut off real uh, real quickly in fact uh you know what i'm probably just gonna leave it as a as a non-rated non-narrated episode because well yeah this is a it's a pro it's a let's see the premise of that one is we're going down cycling road and it ends it cuts off when we're taking on the bird trainers and we're trying to get to, what was it called, Fuchsia City. So, yeah, the next episode will be non-narrated. Not trying to be lazy or anything, but it's just, you guys know what happens. I'm very, very sorry. So, anywho, guys, we're running out of time right here. I just want to say thank you guys for watching and having all these patience. And thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. I will see you guys in the next, next episode. See you guys.